Beyonce's album just came out. Okay. Cowboy Carter. And um, we listened to it. Mm-hmm. What are your thoughts? Mm-hmm. <laughs> yo, yo, you know what's so funny? <laughs> Every time I start thinking about that or the Beyonce stuff, I hold it back in here. You go, she crazy. <laughs> hey, yo, she crazy, man. Crazy in love, reindeer in love, <laughs> dangerously in love. Hey, man, that girl crazy. <laughs> um, <laughs> that's what I'm saying. She that. told her herself. Um, I think. <laughs> <laughs> I think. Um, I think it's her version of country music. Um, yeah, she had some records on there that were like. I just think she, the the production, her production is always top notch. I would say that. I, I give her that, her production. Like, the non-country records were top notch production. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? She always has, she always have that, whoever does her production, bring their A game. Um, um, but I would say, other than that, I, it's, it's a kind of country, Beyonce style country album. Um, the lyrics, we probably probably get into the content of the lyrical content of what she was portraying. Um, one thing I would, I told Sean earlier, I was like, it, it felt really nasty. Some songs just <laughs> felt like, are you talking about sex again? Like, it, it, it was, I was like, wow. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, that's that's what I, I got and so far. So, yeah. So I have, a, I have a question for you guys. What does she mean by this? All right. This is the song Just for Fun. Um, I think, I can't remember, Willie Nelson or somebody introed it. <clears throat> but she ends <laughs> up saying, because time heals everything. I don't need anything. Hallelujah. I pray to her. I pray to her. Mm. What you talking about? She's talking about, uh, I think she's on that African religion where they worship the um, the goddess. The river o- God. O- Olu, I think her name is. And um, that production she had a few years back, I was thinking like a digital, like a video album that she did. <coughs> yep. Um, she had a lot of Afrobeat artists and different people like who yep. worshipped that same God, and um, it was all symbolism showing where she, where her worship and her religion lied, and she's pretty much continuing to do that. So you really believe that she worships this God? If she don't. She's doing a good job uh, <laughs> advertising. Yeah. She, yeah, she promoting it like, you know, she, how we promote Jesus. That's how yeah. she promoting Olu. So there's another clip um, um, that we found. I was going to cue it up, but there's another clip where she's at one of her concerts and they're praying and she says, uh, Father, Mother, God. Right. So that got me thinking there are some some sex of Christianity. Yeah. There's some. It's happening um, in um, liberal sem- seminaries yeah. where they're pushing this whole idea of either God as her or that there is a father God and a mother God. And I wonder if that's what she really believes. Yeah. And she is just kind of appropriating some of the other stuff. Yeah. But I wonder if she actually believes in that. When she says, Mother God, I pray to her. There's a lot of Christians that are now absorbing this theology yeah. that there's a mother God. Yeah. Um, either that or, like I said, they're just a, saying that God shouldn't be gendered as a him, should be yeah. gendered as a her. Yeah, that's probably mm-hmm. what some of that is, too. Could be either one. Is that what we're seeing here? I see a mixture of different religions <laughs> all tied in one. I believe because she mentioned the old Lou lady several times, so I believe she does that. Um, I believe she grew up in the Methodist church, if I'm yeah, not mistaken. So. so there's some aspects of Christianity that she may have or subscribe to. Um, but if you're not all the way to Jesus, you're none. You're, you're right. not with Jesus at all. Right. So I think she's just throwing a bunch of different things in. I think she's trying to. I know her and Jay try to do the pro black the pro black thing pretty strong. So I think she's trying to subscribe to her African heritage, right. as well as try to hold on to some of her childhood uh, beliefs and different things. It's like a it's a, a mix, a gumbo of just yeah. foolishness. A lot of I think there's a lot of I don't know about the rest of the world. All I know is our people there's becoming a very mixed culture where I'm a Christian. I and, believe in Jesus. And, I check my horoscopes. And, mm-hmm. <laughs> I, you know, pray to my ancestors. And, I ask my ancestors for help. Yeah, it's just a mix of a bunch of nonsense put together, and they still call themselves Christians. Yeah, spiritual spiritual buffets. That's what mm-hmm. I. That's what I believe we're seeing, and that's becoming a mainstream version of Christianity, where somebody says I'm a Christian, they say thank you God when they win awards, but what they really believe is a mix of all this nonsense. Is that called mm-hmm. synchronous? I think it's synchronism, right? I don't know. 
It's a word for it. It's a word for it when somebody mixes religions. I think it's called synchronicity. Sin. <laughs> <laughs> it's called sin. But, it, but it's big in this generation, though. She's not mm-hmm. the only... It's big in this generation. And I'm trying to figure out, I'm like, where's the pinpoint for all this? I, I'm trying to figure that out. Like, when, when did all this start? I think Sean just hit it on the head. I think people of color, especially, felt like they've been... You know what I'm saying? Taking advantage of yeah. in America. So it's like people are looking for anything that makes them feel superior. Um, anything that makes them feel like they're in control of their own destiny. Anything that makes them feel like they have power. Like certain sects of quote unquote Christianity, we don't really consider them Christian, but we'll say that for this time. Um, <laughs> they believe they're God's chosen. That makes them superior. Uh, you have some evangelicals who subscribe to the Reformed theology in, 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 in an incorrect way. They believe they're superior because they know more than everybody else. Right. Yeah. Um, you got the people who believe we uh, in the prosperity gospel. You know, they feel a certain level of superiority. Yeah. And everybody's desiring worship when God is the only one that's supposed to be worshipped. Mm-hmm. So people are looking for things to esteem themselves higher instead of esteeming God higher. They want to feel like I got the power. People want to be their own God. They don't want to submit. They want everybody to just be able to be whoever just, they want to be. I just feel like I feel like. That's the biggest bamboozle because I think people are listening to the, the they're listening to all types of people. They're listening they're, they're listening, especially for certain men, black men, and kind of like well with the song we kind of we wrote on it. We you got black men listening to the Umars of the world, listening to the Tariq Nashis, they're listening to um different people, and not even just men, um, women too, listening to these people. And they're practicing, and they're practicing um, African spirituality and different things of that nature as well. Um, and I think, I think for her, I think she's like you're saying is doing the mixture. I think she is like I'm holding on into the Mother God thing because of my feminism, because because of, of that, mm-hmm. and then also um, I'm I'm embracing the roots back to Africa. So I'm like, so. I'm- yeah, my sister said, "Is it the shack's fault too?" Remember the book, The Shack. Oh, when the shack had God as a woman. Yeah. So we actually interviewed the author. I can't remember if we pressed him on that part because I don't remember this being a big deal back then. This whole mother God thing. Yeah. I think now I probably would have been like, "Why did you do that? Why did yeah. you do that?" But um, what do you do? You think the shack has no. some influence? No, I don't think the shack. <laughs> I, I think. I think. Um, I think it's a lot of stuff that's new age, man. I think new age doctrine is 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 in the church. Like I think it's heavy in the church. I think because I'm thinking about new ages, they believe in Mother Nature. Mm-hmm. The Mother, remember, remember when we was growing up in Captain Planet? Yeah. Like, like as I look back, that's like new age. Like the the he's Jesus. Yeah, yeah. He was almost, you know what I mean. And then they they had a person like an oracle that was mm-hmm. Mother Nature, and that's mm-hmm. what. New age is like getting one with nature, and then that goes even even going with the whole back in the day with Kendrick. Yeah. Like when we talked about Kendrick and dissecting Kendrick, going back to nature and speaking to pre- playing the trees and oh, all yeah. this other stuff. It's spiritualizing physical things. Yeah. And I think that's the problem a lot of people have is spiritualizing things that were created by God. Yeah, the universe turning things that yeah. were created by God into God. Yeah, and that's been our problem since. Since, you know, they were fleeing um, Egypt and yeah. worshiping the calf that they yeah. made. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You literally put it together yourself and now yeah. you're worshiping it? That makes no yeah. sense. Pray to a tree and see what happens <laughs> to you, man. See, see how that work out for but you. But I would say this, and, 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 and just to be all fairness, say, Satan got power, unfortunately, too. So mm-hmm. so you can be praying to this stuff and this stuff could be working, but it's, it's and I know people are going to be like, yo, y'all always say this stuff is demonic, blah, 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 but... We're letting y'all know that because it's, yeah. <laughs> it, I mean, if, if it ain't coming from if it, if, it, if, it, if it ain't coming from Jesus and the Lord, uh, like if, if you can get past, just think about this. If you out there and you in our comment section and if you like, yo, y'all don't know, blah, blah, blah. I'm saying this. If we're saying from a perspective of our what, what we believe line up in history, yeah. we have facts and evidence of these people existing and all this other stuff prior to Christianity coming to America. So what we're saying to you guys is the reason why God is like, yo, don't mess with occult stuff is because it will it would harm you. It's not it's not it's not good for you. Mm-hmm. And you may and somebody may be watching this like, yeah, I'm speaking to this ancestor, I'm my spirit God and all this. I'm telling you, when you when if you ever if you bold enough 
ask, say, Jesus, remove the veil of who I'm really speaking to if you're going to be that bold. Mm. I know some of the people that practice that ephi on um, religion. Yeah. They actually go as far as to make a meal for an ancestor. If somebody show up in your house and eat that meal, bro, you better get up out of there. Bro. <laughs> I mean, spirituality is, I mean, the enemy is crafty about that. He's yeah. very crafty about mm -hmm. using your affections to people that you, you miss and you and you want to see again and all that stuff, man. He he has, I mean, just, I mean, and the reason I say that is because I'm thinking about Moses when, when the guy was like, put your stick down and then the people with magic arts put their stick down. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. So that stuff could work, but I'm telling you, I'm. It's so many testimonies I've seen of people online that come out of New Age and say, "Hey, man, I was drinking my own blood. I was doing this. I was doing that, and Jesus came and showed me Him in a real way, and I was like, wow." I think about that. You drink your own blood, so you took your blood out just to put it back in. Yeah, <laughs> that's crazy. I think it's gonna have special yeah. power the second time. And they're talking about even in um, the That's Old crazy. Testament, like some stuff that people were doing in the Old Testament, like mm -hmm. sacrificing stuff to Baal and all these oh, other yeah. false uh, serial poles and stuff. It's crazy, man. All right. So, I mean, you know. If you like music, I mean, it sounds okay, <laughs> <laughs> but that's not what we care about when we yeah. when we yeah. look at stuff. We're trying yeah. to find out the heart of the person that makes it, and yeah. so pray for Beyonce. If you if you like her, and you like her stuff, pray for her. Yeah. Pray that she comes yeah, into yeah, a knowledge I, of Jesus Christ. I wonder yeah. why. I wonder like when you come out and just point out blatant satanic stuff that's going on. Like why would folks just defend it? Like. My problem is they Christians like it. defending it. That's my it's biggest like, problem. Well, I, I know it sounds if, good, but if, some people. If you're an LGBT and, and 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 she's speaking to you, or you just out and about, if you an ancestor worship and all of that, and I'm like, yo, we pray for you. We pray for you. You know, I'm, but I'm if you a believer in the Lord Jesus Christ and you still defending this person after facts of not just us, other people put out things. They you still defending? Check your faith. I like future, but if you come to me and say that's evil, I'm be like, you know what, you're right. Yeah, I'm like, not gonna be like, but he, but he, right here, he quoted the scripture. Nah, like, it's evil. Is that is that that easy? That are you, or is that bad on us as the church that disciple these people? Well, it's just hard when you grow up with somebody and they speak to you as as you know a woman, a black person, whatever. And again, like this wasn't obvious. All the stuff we're talking about now, it wasn't obvious the entire time she was famous, oh, yeah, right? Yeah, so yeah, you grow yeah. up with somebody. And now all of a sudden you start seeing little things here, little things there. Most people probably wouldn't even notice that line, right? Yeah. We, we're bringing it to the surface, yeah. but most people will just skip right over that. Yeah. But there's like little hints here and there. You don't want to believe this person isn't really a Christian. You yeah. just think, oh, maybe they just is. Maybe it's just that. It's like, no, it is. It's bad. It's bad. Hey, what's going on? I hope you liked that video. Make sure you like and subscribe. And make sure you support us on Patreon, patreon.com forward slash Trackstars Universe. In the meantime, continue to watch our channel by clicking on this next video right now, right now.